Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about some of my cool mapping related geographic information systems related buttons. Let's explore those, shall we? Here's the first one, maps, the language of where from Esri. Yeah, maps are the language of where. They are all about locations, patterns, relationships, trends over space and time. That's why we are compelled to use maps, especially nowadays in their live, digital, dynamic form in a geographic information system or a GIS. Here's another one called GIS Ambassador. It reflects upon the fact that you can be a geo mentor, for example. You can help schools, you can help community colleges, you can help universities become knowledgeable about the power of using geographic information systems in a variety of disciplines, health, business, economics, geography, science, math, engineering, etc. So you could be a GIS ambassador. You could also be a GIS ambassador by helping the next generation of GIS professionals. So you can mentor a young professional or a student. Here's another one that's, that's rather amusing. Never metadata. Metadata I didn't like. So metadata is all about the data describing the maps and layers that you've got. So never metadata I didn't like. In other words, metadata is important. It's important to document your sources, your scales, your curation uh, frequency of your data so that people can decide whether it's fit for their use or not. And another one here from S3, the science of where. It has to do with our motto, our philosophy, also our way of looking at the world through maps, through visualizations. And geography or GIS are the science of where. They're the science of understanding our world through the geographic perspective. And this last one's about 20 years old now. I've got maps and charts to back me up, so buzz off. <laughs> That's funny. It's uh, funny in a geeky way. Uh, the point is, is that uh, if you've got some data um, that addresses, that helps you grapple with, that helps you understand a problem, and you've got that as your fundamental uh, foundation for your argument, oftentimes people pay attention to that and you have a voice. So don't just talk about an issue or problem. Actually get, gather some data and ask questions and do some analysis and do something about that problem. So I've got maps and data to back me up, along with I never metadata I didn't like, the GIS ambassador, the science of where, and maps, the language of where. So those are my current buttons that I'm looking at on a daily basis to keep me focused. Thanks.